welcome to my channel and here is your programmer boy so in this video we are going to discuss another POS software which is developed by me and you can buy it uh, by emailing me I'm uh, giving the email in the description so first of all let's open this first of all this is the login screen you will have to enter the password and here you go you are logged in to the dashboard this is the main dashboard of the uh, software here you can see the total orders which are 29 processed by this software out of stock items are zero mean no item is less than 10 in quantity if some item is less than 10 in quantity it will be shown here and here here will be shown that oh, what are the items which are short and uh, you can see this is the menu so first of all you will need to create a new supplier or a new vendor so you can see this when uh, icons you will click that and it will ask you to name that supplier so let's suppose you name it uh, as uh, supplier one okay and press create and it will say created successfully okay though so your supplier is created now you will go to this stock icon you can see there uh, there is a uh, some uh, grocery or uh, trolley or stock you can say you will click that and the stock window will appear in front of you so you will need to add products okay, okay. so you will uh, uh, enter the barcode of the product like uh, I will enter 5544 you will scan the barcode here uh, you will name that product like uh, Coca Cola 1 liter okay and uh, you will uh, enter the sale price here at which price you are selling this product let's suppose 100 and uh, what is the cost price yani uh, i mean purchase price uh, okay this one is 50 and uh, what is the quantity or stock you have or you purchased uh, 100 bottles and you purchased it from mean supplier name so you will just click this arrow and all suppliers will be here so you will select the supplier one okay you can add the batch number batch number is uh, order number or anything you can okay and this is the important section you will enter the cash paid or credit to pay i mean if you have purchased 100 bottles how many uh, rupees or dollars you paid uh, to that supplier okay let's suppose my bill was 5000 and uh, i paid him 3000 and 2000 is the credit which i will pay in future so i will add 2000 in credit and cash paid 3000 and i will press this add button okay you can see my stock is added here okay so whenever i want to calculate the credit of a specific supplier what i can do you can see there is a search filter okay so you will select the filter on what basis you want to search the items you can search uh, on the basis of barcode you can search on the basis of product name so here i want to search on the basis of supplier or purchase from so i will select the purchase from here and i will enter the name of supplier here supplier one and you can see there is only one order which is showing cash paid three thousand credit to pay two thousand if there are so many items you can just press the calculate credit now and it will show you that two thousand is payable so if you want to pay 1000 from this 2000 so you will just double click this order which you are paying uh, like you are paying this coca-cola bottles uh, you want to pay 1000 for that so you will just double click the order the order id will be here in the uh, box and you will uh, enter the amount paid you want to pay 1000 and you will just press paid and it will say paid as you you can see we have paid 1000 our credit was 2000 we paid 1000 if we calculate it again supplier one and uh, press the calculate credit and it is 1000 left which is payable so that's how you can uh, uh, deal with the credit so if we press the view stock this is the total stock we have if you want to update something like we want to 
uh, update the price of this supplied or this coca-cola so what we can do we will just double click that item and you can see this all is loaded in the text boxes again uh, you can update anything from where you can update you can see the cost price is 500 if you I want to update it to 700 I will just add 700 and press the update and you can see here the price is updated it is 700 now similarly if you want to delete an item you can just double click that item it all data will be loaded into the text boxes and you can press the delete and it will be deleted successfully from the stock okay this is the stock section so now i am going to show you how you can make the sales how you can process the sales or bill here you can see a uh, plus symbol it means a new order you are processing just click that and uh, this window will appear in front of you so if you are using a barcode scanner you will just scan the products here like i just scanned the product it is entered into the basket uh, which is one in quantity if you want uh, to just scan it again scan it again you can see the quantity is increasing if you want to 40 to 50 quantity you cannot scan it 50 times you will just scan it once and you will just right click here and you can change the quantity from here let's suppose i am going to add 10 here and press update so it will be 10 and this price is also updated okay this is how you can do so if you want to add some uh, items manually you don't have barcode so you can just uh, write it here or select it from this and you can uh, add to cart it is increasing in quantity so if it's uh, you want to give it some discount that you can see total price is 1100 you want to give a uh, uh, 10 rupees discount you will just add 10 here and uh, how much money you received from the customer like it's uh, 1500 and you will press submit it says 410 rupees to return to the customer and total bill is now 1090 because you have given 10 uh, rupees discount and you will just press the cash you will whenever you will press the cash a receipt will come out from your printer and this order will be saved in your sales okay so let's check the sales here is the sales uh, see this is icon which is uh, going up it means your sale is going up this icon belongs to sale just click it and this sales window will appear in front of you okay if you want to calculate the two days sale you will just press close it will close your two days sale and you will just press calculate it says your total sale is 1090 and 550 is your profit okay if you want to calculate the sale of a month yeah you can select the from date from which to which date you want to calculate uh, let's 6 february to 13 okay 6 february to 6 march okay this is selected and you will press search it will appear uh, the sales of this period here and you will press the calculate and it will say uh, sale and profit because i'm not having the sale of uh, uh, this period so that's why it's not showing okay this is and uh, what else uh, if you want to sell on credit basis what to do okay you will need to create a customer yeah you as you created a, a supplier it means if you are uh, selling something to a customer on credit basis it means you you are familiar with the customer so you will need to create that customer i hope you understand okay this is the customer with the dollar head it means it uh, is your data or character what to say you can just press it if you want to sell something on credit basis you need to create that customer okay press this uh, plus a symbol here and uh, name that customer like uh, i have uh, ahmed shops okay like uh, no it's uh, heather okay and uh, create it will say create successfully and just go to the sales section again and you want to make a bill but uh, click these arrows before and select the client if you are uh, selling it on credit basis okay uh, header is selected and just scan the items again okay like uh, i'm not having barcode reader i'm scanning it manually okay so 200 is the bill and you want to sell it on credit basis so don't press the cash button here just press the credit button now okay whenever you will press the credit it will print out a receipt and your uh, order is saved in creditors like uh, if here are your creditors uh, with the dollar symbol you, you will just press those and uh, you want to calculate the credit okay just select the shop or client name here it was heather and uh, press the calculate okay the total amount is 200 and uh, he has uh, paid nothing and remaining is all 200 if he comes to you and he says he want to uh, you know 
uh, pay the 100 from this 200 amount so just click that double uh, double click that and it will uh, uh, generate the order number here and uh, just add 100 and paid okay if you will click it again so it will say 200 was total amount he paid 100 and remaining is 100 so you can uh, if you will double click it will say uh, what item he bought from this 200 here your coca-cola quantity 2 unit price is 100 that's why it was total bill of 200 okay so the last but not least if someone comes to you and he wants to return that some item so you will go to the sales uh, section again and you will just uh, check this return box it will uh, uh, change the quantity to 1 to minus 1 here just click ch check this return and uh, scan as usual uh, the way you do okay so it will generate the bill in minus because it is returning uh, you will have to pay him you will have to uh, pay in return you because it is returning the item so will you uh, you will just uh, scan after clicking the return and you will uh, repeat the process you will scan all the items he is returning and after that you will press cash okay it will uh, generate a receipt and uh, it, uh, the other thing will be the same okay this is uh, the total working of the POS software i hope you uh, are interesting uh, interested to buy this one so i'll be waiting for you thank you